you know, the old saying of if you can teach it, then you really understand it. Um, so I think that interaction to actually um, communicate with your fellow students to learn is really important. And I think that's really broadened on an online, you know, platform because you can't talk to that many people when you're in a lecture for 50 minutes and then have to run off to the next thing. Uh, when you are interacting in an online discussion forum, you're going to hear more from more people than you would if you were in an on-campus class. And so, for example, the courses that I teach, uh, both at the undergrad and graduate level with students that are living and working on Indian reservations that are eyebrow deep in tribal government, they're going to share their experience. They're going to share their expertise. They're going to share their stories from the trenches. And that's where the real work of teaching and learning gets done in these classes. And the other students are going to have access to that because it is in an online platform or it's in an online context. So I would say as far as the value of online learning that the design is different, that the setup of the course is different, but that because there are differences from a face-to-face -face dynamic, as instructors we really get the privilege to structure something unique and something that really resonates with more students as far as their learning style. So for example, someone that's a tactile learner and really needs to write things out, it's an opportunity for them to be participatory in a way that maybe wouldn't allow them to participate in a face-to-face -face setting. Whether we come together in a lecture format, whether we break into breakout sessions to, um, to make sure that um, I include that active student learning, the, the goal is for me and for my students is to emulate that face-to-face -face instruction and put that into this online Zoom format. Having things kind of on my own schedule instead of having the weird, like, for me I'd always have like an awkward hour between classes and I found that I could just like sit down, power through most of my stuff and then kind of take the break when I actually wanted it instead of like, well, I guess I have an hour break here. <laughs> so. Um, in that sense, it was actually kind of nice. I think students like the control that they have over the, uh, the online learning environment. Uh, they have more control over the classroom, the virtual classroom, if you will, than they do an on-campus classroom. So the future of education, in my view, is such that we are utilizing and leveraging the online learning modalities. I think the, the balance of it in a hybrid you know, system is, is very important in the way that it's going anyways. Um, but this is not something that we're just starting to do. This is something that we've been thinking about and working on for a long time. And we're very deliberate in, in accounting for those complexities and, and taking good advantage of the tools that are at hand.